80% of Ethiopians live on the land still, so the vast bulk of the Ethiopian population are agriculturalists and still engage in agriculture. Agriculture is the centrepiece of the strategy that Ethiopia is trying to roll out, and so Australia assists it very well in, in that picture uh, in terms of a way of providing access to Australian know-how. Gambella is located um, in the far west of Ethiopia. It's on the border with South Sudan and currently there's about 400,000 South Sudanese refugees who are housed in their camps there. So for the, um, the assessment in Gambella, it was livelihoods as well as food security. So we're looking at the refugees to see what ways they had of producing their own food. Some of them have small plots of land, so were they, did they have the capacity to, to grow their own food, for example? Did they have sufficient land? Do they have water for irrigation? Do they have seeds? Or are they perhaps raising some, some livestock or some chickens or things like that? About 80% of Ethiopian households rely on agriculture for their income, so a lot of what we're doing is increasing their productivity or helping them uh, to build their resilience to shocks. When they're so reliant on their livestock for their food and for their income, so that any shock can be devastating for a family. Zafal has a lot of uh, field work we're really implementing in Ethiopia. Um, mainly what my role is, is to support our local staff and the um, government staff to be able to implement um, in the field. I believe that in the near future, FAO can greatly benefit from Australia Assist. Uh, there are areas such as social protection or disaster risk management or resilience in general where FAO is going to invest a lot of resources. There are studies showing that uh, money invested in preparedness is money saved on, on response. One dollar invested in uh, production of livestock feed, it's a seven dollar saved on the response to a drought that will impact on the livestock. 